This review is for the Black & Decker T04314 SSD Rotisserie Convention Toaster Oven. Above it you have my old toaster oven and its comparison. Both are Black & Decker. The size of them is quite different. You can see again this is about 18 by 14. I would say the one on top is about uh, 14 by maybe maybe 10. The rotisserie oven, the one below here, can hold up to two 12-inch uh, pizzas. It has a, s a spile on it so you can cook a turkey or a chicken. It comes with two racks and a big sheet that can slide in. Compared to other toaster oven models, the big sheet does not send top of the oven racks. It actually slides in. It also comes with an anti-drip tray or a cookie sheet. I think it would serve better as an anti-drip tray. Put this to the bottom level. Your item is going to drip above it and all of that will stay in one spot. It is a convection oven. Convention oven. I mean there is a fan inside that circulates the air ensuring that it is uh, an even cook. At the top here we have temperature, so from minimum all the way to a toast. We have a function, so we have a bake, we have a broil, we have a bagel on here, and toast. We have the time, and you can indicate, it indicates here the time for the bagel, dark and light. And then we have a toast shade, so how dark you want it, so a separate toast function. Toaster oven itself is quite deep. You could put a lot in there. Comparing to a classic toaster oven, quite a bit smaller. These are the trays that often come with it. You could easily fit almost two of those side by side. In the original setup, everything seemed to work pretty well. The only trouble I ran into was one of the screws on the rotisserie had come stripped, or one of the bases. So this will actually tighten on this side here. So I'll reach out to the manufacturer and see what they uh, will do for me to fix that up. It will still turn without issue, but it's just not as secure and something you took out of the box, you don't want that to happen. The rotisserie also is unique as the way to put it in and out. It is a little tight, but it does work quite well. So this comes out. I'd recommend you leave your drip tray in there, definitely. And you put this on top actually, and you put it in on an angle, like this. It connects over here on the right hand side with the motor, and then on this side it drops in. Slide back over, and then adjust it with your hand so that it spins properly. And when you take it out, you do the exact same thing, except for this time it'll be hot so you don't have your hand available. You put this in, lift left first, out, and pull. Overall, it looks quite functional and seems to have a lot of nice settings. It is quite large counter space wise. I would not recommend this product if you have a large, um, if you don't have room for a large item on the countertop or if you have a small kitchen. As you can see here again, by the size difference, the width difference, and even the height difference. It's quite a large uh, difference. And you would be forfeiting a lot of counter space by putting this in if you don't have that large counter space available. It plugs into a standard outlet. And it's pretty simple to operate. Simply choose your time, choose the function, toast, and then choose how dark you want it. Your toast in, and you're off the races. It does come, as you see, with an anti-drip tray to protect the bottom elements. Though, I would leave this tray on the bottom to make it last longer. It's getting pretty warm already. One tip of advice, never turn them back this way against the motor. The temperature one's fine, 
So if you are done with something early, just turn the temperature down to zero and let it run out or unplug it. By doing this way, you could damage the motor that's inside. Thanks for watching.